Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chloe vs Art and I have a very exciting guest. You've all tagged me, commented, asked for her to come on so she has come and thank you for making the effort this morning because I think she might have been out last night. We've got Olivia from Bithara! <laughs> it's so weird like clap. Woo! I know, like I wish there was people clapping but then I'd be too embarrassed. Like we've got two people in the Imagine, like, a light Thank month. you very much. <laughs> I have so many questions. Like, I watched this season religious, well, not that there were any other seasons, but me and Millie watched literally every episode, like, watched it on Catch Up, watched Late and Live. Like, how was it? It was so much fun. Was it fun? Literally the best time ever. Good. Like, I was dressed like an idiot the whole time. I know, but you just didn't but care, But it was though, so I much thought. fun. And, like, I literally, like, most of the girls would put on a face of makeup, and I was like, fuck this. Fuck. Who can be bothered? Like, that was the difference. See, on, like, Love Island, you all have to make the effort. Like, yeah, because I'm trying to pull a boy. <laughs> exactly. Whereas I couldn't care less. Yeah. I was out there. The first week, everyone's always, like, talking about it. I had ice on my face because I get really bad mouth ulcers. Oh, bless And in you. the first few nights, my face swole up. So, like, I was on live, like, actual national television <laughs> with a golf ball out the side of my cheek. I didn't know. So, like, it, once you've done fine. that... You just can't even give a fuck. I always say that, like, if you go on TV, no makeup, crying, like, when are you ever going to give a fuck again? Like, it literally, happens. it's so, like, freeing. It is, isn't it? Like, now everyone knows what you look now like. Now everyone so. knows me at my yes. worst, at my best. Yeah. And uh, the ugly crying memes are horrific. Oh, you've got ugly crying memes. Oh, like, I actually saw a comment about myself, like, Olivia's fa uh, crying face is horrifically ugly. I what was, like, is your crying face? I, I couldn't even do it. Like... <laughs> That day, my eyes swell up, my like Ooh. I get like red above my lip, and like I'm like, oh, like and oh, there's like a sad. meme of it. It's horrific. No, it's fine. Own it. Plaster it everywhere. Oh my god! Imagine. Like, I know. This is me crying. This is me on a bad Keep day. <laughs> I'm never getting a boyfriend. No, I think you will. Oh my god! I literally have ten million questions. What are your DMs like since you left? It's mainly just like I'm getting called mother. Like okay, loads. Like, I've got all the gays, like, yeah. going for it. Like, Hun, shout out Twitter to the, loved you. Shout out to the gays, because the gays bloody are on it, on yeah. it, on it. But that's wild. And then I've had, like, drag queens in my DMs. Yeah. That's crazy. But, yeah, no sexy boys. Like, no. just really... Just really people telling me they love me and stuff, which is so weird. Isn't that's nice, though. Like, you came second. That's crazy. Well, I know. Did you think you'd come second? I, no. thought, I was like, I'll be fifth. Like, there's, I've, like on the live stream the night before, yeah. I was convinced Noki was winning. Okay, yeah. Because the past two weeks that she was facing eviction, the crowd noise was so loud for yeah. her. Okay. I was like, oh my God, Noki's going to win. Noki's going to win. And the night before, I was like, I think Noki's going to win. But if Noki doesn't win, I'd love Yenrin to win because I would like the girls to take it. Yeah. I was like, Jordan and Henry are leaving together no matter what. Yeah. It'd be amazing if one of the girls won. But I never thought it would be me. So when Noki left fifth, no one wants to be fifth no. secretly. And we're all like, it doesn't matter. We're just happy to be here. But I was like, I'll take no. anything now. Because it's not even that. It's just like you don't, like, fifth still class. But, like, no one actually does want to be fifth. No. Well, no, one, I suppose you just don't want to go. And then the closer it gets to the final, I thought Noki could take it. I, I really, really enjoyed did. Noki. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, especially, like, the past, like, the second half of the show. Yeah. She was shown... She came into her own a bit, yeah. I think. Yeah, and she definitely... She always referred to herself as, like, a slow burner. And I think she's right. Like, okay. She, te like, took time to kind of grow on most people in the mm. house. But, yeah, I, I honestly was convinced Noki was going to win. Really? So it was you, Noki, Yinran, Jordan and Henry. Yes. Are Jordan and Henry going to get married? I need to know. I hope so. Okay. I want to be flower girl at their yeah. wedding. Um, so... I'm hoping so. Could you see it? Because there was obviously the... I know everyone talks about it. You've probably spoken about it to Steph. But there was, like, the triangle with Matty. We didn't know about the triangle. You didn't know? No. But I feel like it was quite secret. Like, Jordan would have chats with Matty and then he'd go to Henry and then Henry was we didn't, sad in the We didn't room. see that. So, basically, the only reason... Yeah. ...we found out about the triangle was because where the smoking area is... Yeah. I shit you not, on the other side of basically, like, set... Like, a set wall. Right. Is the crowd. Okay. And we used to get, like, locked into rooms and things like that while they were setting up stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, we, we, obviously I said we never see anyone. So, like, that's why they'd be like, you need to go to the bedroom now. And the door would get locked and we I wouldn't know. I can't believe you didn't see anyone. When we would 
get back out. And there was this one Friday they had li like kept us inside. The garden had been locked, and obviously all the smokers were like, oh, "Let me out!" Yeah. So they let them out really close to the eviction. Oh. And the crowd were already there, but they had to obviously let them out. Yeah. And they play crowd noise every single Friday. Okay. But it's just like, Woo! yeah, on repeat oh my God, for two you head hours. Fridays. <sighs> cancel a Friday. I fucking hate Fridays in that place. It was horrible. Yeah. Um, so like the crowd noise wasn't even drowning it out. Yeah. So Jenkin went in and we could hear like Hemi, Jordan and like whoa, like people whooping. Yeah. And he came out like this and Hemi stood next to him. He was like, he could say anything. And basically he was like, I have just heard that the nation are watching a love triangle. And we were like, what? And he was like, yeah, like, so we think there's like a hype man. He goes on and like warms he the crowd does. up. He does, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, what's been happening in the house? Yeah. And, stuff. and he was like, I could hear him like, who should Jordan choose? And we were like, what on earth? Oh, So right. that's how we found out. Right. We had nothing from the outside world. So we had no idea. Yeah. And that's how we found out about the love triangle. Oh my, were so you surprised? I was surprised, I oh, had yeah. no idea. Oh I God. just saw Jordan and Henry. So like the fact Matty was even involved. Yeah. And then I think Chanel told Matty and Matty was really worried because obviously he's actually got, got a boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah. I've seen a few of the clips and some of <laughs> it is flirt. quite flirty. It's so flirty. Like, I was, I was shocked because that all, it, very, it was quite secretive. Like yeah. the one where George is like, you've got a beautiful mouth, <laughs> yeah, but, you, but you need to keep it shut. He's got game. Like he, he does have game. game. He's yeah, a player. He is. Literally. But then him and Henry in the end, Oh my God, no, when you walked in on them snogging. What? What? I don't know how they never seen me because that door is really loud. Is it? Okay. Like, that door, when it opens, so see towards the end, like the, there was like a black kind of metal push pad on the yeah. door and it was actually falling off. So like okay. it would rattle right. when you opened the door. So I'm like, did, 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 walk, and I was like. That was Yenrin, so funny. It was like. So funny. They, they missed out half the diary room of after. So basically, okay. Yenrin was on the other side folding socks, <laughs> completely unaware. But she oh, must Yen have heard Ren. the door because she turned around and was looking at me. And like, I was like. And they were just snogging and we away. Were, and I was looking at Yenrin and she was looking at. And I was like. And then we went to the diary room after. And I was like, they made us reenact it in the diary room and, <laughs> and they missed it all out. But like, I was like. I'm not being funny, guys, but you would have just done that if Yen was in the room. Yeah. I'm glad I caught you. Yeah. Because if it had just been me, they'd have told everyone I was lying. No. So I had an accomplice. Got a uh -huh, to... I, had a, I had a witness. No, I love that. I was like, that shit happened. They that were was like, so and funny. Henry was like, oh, Jordan was like, come here, I need to tell you a secret. I was like, no, he wasn't. I was no. like, you're on top of him. Let's not lie. Oh, yeah, he did say that though at night, didn't he? Was like, oh, there was another, and obviously oh, yeah. I saw that as well. You saw it? I saw so much kissing action. I love that so much. So much. Much kissing action. Did you think at the beginning they'd get together? They kind of paired off straight away, didn't they? Yeah, but I just thought at first it was for like very best friendsy. Like, okay. they, we, I always referred to them as like an old married couple. Okay, like cute. they could literally be two gay dads. Like, but that's how it all, and only in the last. See when Trish left. Yeah. That's when it started being a bit more romantic because I think she was always like behave yourself behave yourself ah, okay. and then yeah. she left and they thought clothes off let's go let's for go. it yeah give me a snog so i think like i've referred to like you know you get the angel and the devil on the shoulder yeah. she was like the angel on the shoulder like you're on tv <laughs> this isn't why you're here and then trish was out the door and their faces were on each other guy, the little devil just came out it was i come. think it was literally the next day <laughs> and i was like what has happened they were like trish used to tell us off and i was like bring trish back she oh, needs to stop this up. i feel literally. like i'm asking you so many questions like different points in the series no. let's go right to the beginning before you even went on like how did, did you apply because i did like scout people for love Island. i wasn't scouted i literally applied did you apply yeah did you, what did you have to do for it the applications shut and the 30th of june right and i genuinely think i sent my tape in on like 28th of june or something okay it was really like but i've been saying for ages oh my god i want to apply for big yeah. brother i could see myself on big brother like it was really weird I'd, I'd always said i said to my pals when it first came out i'm gonna apply for big brother yeah but never like 
they never followed it up with me, which was good because no one sussed it out. Yeah, oh, yeah. How many people did you tell a lot of people? I only really told like literally my like close friends, family, like a few close friends because I was gonna disappear from life. I know. Like, yeah. You don't want to go and hide and like if someone doesn't know, they generally maybe send out a search party. <laughs> so. I applied like last minute yeah. and then I literally got a call about two weeks later. I was working in like kids summer camps and mm. I was on my lunch and I got a phone call and it was a casting director and I was like, cause I think you send it and you're just like, if I never hear anything, no yeah. one knows. So like I just sent it and my audition tape was literally just me like, hi big brother, you need me. Yeah. And then at the end I put just videos of me doing daft shit. Cause yeah. I was like, I can't talk through the shit I do. Yeah. I have to just show you. <laughs> so I put like a video of me doing karaoke, a video of me dressing a penis costume. But why are you a video of a penis me, costume? Oh, I bought an inflatable penis costume from oh, my what? cousin's hen. Oh, okay. Um, right. But I've got a video of when I tried it on. <laughs> and then I put a video of me singing on a kebab shop counter. What? <laughs> I was on the kebab shop counter like, get a bucket in a mouth. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then, what else? I put another one. I'll, I'll show you it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, funny, but so I was like, I can't explain them. You just have just to see. see it. So yeah. like, I just cut them in at the end and it must have worked. There you go. They gave you a call, packed your bags. Yeah, do you how many suitcases? I don't know. One. Cases. One case. One case. And obviously I flew to London. Oh yeah. So I was restricted to 23 kilos. So I had a suitcase, it was 22 on the door. I feel like you served a lot of looks though. No, like, I didn't. You did, like your I pink wore... sequin, like the cord, the dress at the end was Everyone stunned. loved that love heart cord. I'm just loved glad it. I didn't leave because it was really uncomfortable. Okay, fine. The top was too big, so I had like Tinder. tied it here. <laughs> and it was like, oh, I was like literally like this. Yeah. And like, I've not been to the gym obviously the whole time, so I just felt you bad. Do not and I was need like, the gym. you are tiny. I just felt like, but you know that way, like, it's such a thing as a girl, like, if you don't feel yourself. Yeah, then you don't like, want to be dressed so, up. In a way, everyone was like, oh, you can do, like, Jenkins was like, you can do sexier than the love heart cord. And I was like, I know I can do sexier, but it kind of sums me up as yeah. a person. I was like, so if I leave in this, I'll be chuffed. Yeah. But I was secretly hoping I was going to get to wear the pink Opoly dress at the end. I love that dress. Yeah. It was like, so you. It literally like, was me in a dress. Yeah, and you saved it for the end. Like, I wore a lot of glitter. The whole time. Yeah, but I love it. But that's just, I always do that. To you. Like, I've always been like, you know that way when you grow up and everyone's like, grows out of their pink. Yeah. I He's never grow out of that. No, I, that's fine. I could care less. Like, yes. I love a bit of glitter sequence. I feel like you just don't really give a shit what people think. I don't. You don't. Like, I literally don't. I never have. And yeah. I think that's the main thing. If you're going to go on Big Brother, you're going to be scrutinised for every element of your personality. So like, yeah. if you care too much about what people think, yeah. you're in the wrong place. How were like, I would, I'm trying to think, the hardest bit would probably be like nominations. <gasps> how like, how can you even explain that? Well, nomination day yeah. is the worst day because we are on that sofa for hours. Is that how it is? Was, you're not allowed yeah. to leave the sofas. Good fun. Oh. <laughs> See the day that me and Hallie broke the rules the, yeah. fir the first time. Um, <laughs> that was on obviously a nomination day and it oh. happened out of pure boredom. Right. Like it started like, oh, let me, let me like, do, like you, yeah. it wasn't even that. It was like scratch my back and then it was like, it just progressed. Yeah. But like, it was genuine boredom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like my brain was just gone. Yeah. That day as well, the, the air con wasn't working. So it was like five million degrees. And we at one point I stood up and started doing circles of the sofa. I was like I hitting know, all yeah. the fake trees. I was like, let me out. Oh like, my God. It was horrible. Cause at the start, nominations took, the first time I genuinely think it must've taken about seven hours. Really? Well, there were 16 of us. Oh shit, there were so many. Yeah. And it was the first time people had done it. Yeah. So we had to like, obviously learn the process. Right. And then the next week when there was 15 of us, Still as long. It was still as long because then we had to nominate two people. Huh? Some people could go in there for like 45 minutes and all you see is like, <laughs> I want to nominate this person because of this. I love that. That is not it. It's they the art pull. of TV, isn't it? They yeah. pull. So see when I nominated for Rita, 
I never actually said I nominate her because of the salmon thing. Oh shit! I nominated yeah. her and I said the reason. And they went, okay, give us an example. How does that make you feel? Uh, give us another example. Okay. So like, and then they choose what. So it looks like I was like, yeah, I'm nominating her because of the salmon. That's not why I nominated no, her. That was an TV example. Though, like, but happens. I didn't realise how big that was. Was that actually? Because was that a big deal that she ate your salmon? It, it was like she was, salmon gate. Uh, literally, everything was a gate in that house. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah. was a gate. Honestly, I thought it was quite weird. I'd known her less than 24 <laughs> hours and she was double dipping her spoon in my food and I was like, who is this woman? Was there a food shortage in there? Maybe she was really hungry. She was cooking chicken and I went, because I opened it, put the salmon like in the tin foil to cook and I was like, do you want one? Because she was like, I love salmon. And I was like, do you want one? Yeah. And she was like, no, no, I've got chicken. Yeah. I was like, brilliant. Put them in. No one wanted the other fillet. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to eat two salmon fillets, yeah. why not? And then she was like, can I have some of your sweet corn? I was like, yeah, have some of my sweet corn. So it started with the sweet corn and the salmon was on a plate. Next thing you know, she's eating more of the sweet corn, double dipping. And then, so I actually oh. in the end just left her with the sweet just, corn. Just, I was like, you have it. the sweet corn. You're hungry. But she then started moving on to my plate and eating the salmon with the same spoon. And I was like, why is she eating the food? <laughs> Like, oh, bless it was her. so weird. I know that would throw me a bit. But, like, thing. she did, like, she did shit like that all the time. Yeah. And she just was so, like, completely blissfully unaware. Yeah, I just feel like she was so comfortable. Like, I'm she living here now, I'm going to eat this, was... I'm going to do this. Was it harder? Because I think in other shows, everyone's kind of like the same age, like, give or take. But there was, like, such a wide age range, like, everyone from all over. So, like, the, the cast was literally people from all corners, literally. different backgrounds. Was it hard in the beginning, like, to find common ground with people or do you just get along with anyone? It's really weird because I think even the people that you wouldn't think you would yeah. get to meet on the outside world, you find similarities with. Yeah. It's like, my mum and all that were, like, as soon as we saw Jenkin, we were, like, she's going to love him. They're yeah. going to get on. But obviously, it was, like, originally we didn't and then we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's in a normal, like, life i would never have bumped into most of those people yeah like we would never glasgow. cross paths but <laughs> noki has friends in glasgow oh did she yeah that's maybe so like, in the night out or something maybe she was the only person yeah that i would ever cross paths with so like that was the weirdest part but you kind of have some a lot more similarities with people than what you think oh good but yeah it was it was hard at first to yeah, navigate. Yeah, when you walked in, who did you think you wouldn't get along with? I walked in and thought, I'm going to have no pals. Like, I literally oh, couldn't see. <laughs> at the first night, I thought Chanel hated me. Oh, oh my God, me and Millie thought that, actually. But I think Chanel was just, like, quite quiet. Yeah, she, I think she must have been overwhelmed the first night. Yeah. But, like, the first week, I was like, does Chanel like me? I don't <laughs> know. Like, but I walked in and looked around and I was like, Oh no. Who's going to be my friend? Oh, like, that I'd was my biggest that. worry. Yeah, that would be mine. I would have hit it, it would have been mind numbing yeah. if you had no pals because it was so boring most of the time. Yeah. So, like, if you didn't have people to like, bounce off. Because we only see 40 minutes. So, like, what, what are you doing? Were they sleeping? No, you're not allowed to sleep during the day. That's fine. Okay. So, good. like, if someone, I, I want like a scare cam because if someone napped, they would be like, this is big brother. You are not permitted to sleep during the day. <laughs> but then also Matty was like a phantom napper. Like really? Matty and Chanel used to nap all the time. Oh, and they would often get away with it. Yeah. I think the quieter people when they napped could yeah. go unnoticed. As soon as I like closed my eyes, it was like, wake up. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, couldn't, I think the, whoever was listening to my mic was like, we've not heard her speak yeah. in a while. Is she okay? It's been 20 minutes. Like, where is she? And I'd be like, somewhere yeah yeah yeah. but um matty one day fell asleep in the bedroom and i was in the kitchen there was this noise it was the alarm they play this god awful alarm yeah in sometimes. the morning do they wear you up with music and lights oh i bloody wish it was music oh is it not the music? lights go from like complete off to, to just on yeah, yeah 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 and you're like do you know what I mean? I think, is it the same in Love Island? Yeah, the lights are hell. That's like, why everyone wore sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. And that was another thing. Technically, we weren't allowed to wear sunglasses inside. Oh. I think because, like, reflection, it could reflect that it's I actually, like, set. 
Oh, really? Do you know what I mean? So it kind of ruins the illusion. I don't know if it's that. I don't know yeah, if it's like a maybe. camera thing. Could you but tell it was obviously a set? When you, when you walked in, is it massive? Oh, I've got so huge. many questions. I've got so many questions. So, it's so big. Is it? Yeah, so, so big. I thought it looked massive. Like, so much bigger than what all the other Big Brother houses looked yeah, like. Yeah, I thought, and there's like another floor. And we had none of the sneak peeks. See, when the pictures got like, yeah. released, and we wa- like you didn't know what you were walking into, so my assumption was, I'll go in and it'll look like what the old Big Brother houses yeah. look like. And then I walked in and I was like, oh my God, this is massive. Huge. So at the end, it was really lonely. Like, it was so Aww, empty. If you it. were yourself in a room, yeah. you felt really watched. Aye. Because obviously, like... You are, technically. Like, you yeah. are, but like, only There's nothing at the else end, to take it off. Only at the end was I, like, telling cameras to fuck off when I could feel them <sighs> following me. I was going, go away. <laughs> and there was one camera following me and I was going... I'm surprised they didn't know that. That would have been funny. Literally, but yeah. So, Matty, I, I go on oh, these yeah. tangents so badly. So do I, but I've got so many questions I want to know. My brain goes like this, yeah, and then yeah, I'll come yeah. back. But Matty one day fell asleep in the bedroom. They played the alarm. Then he went to the bathroom, fell asleep in the bathroom, and, they, <laughs> and he was like, the alarm's following me. But like, they literally do not let you sleep. No. You're not allowed Were to sleep. Were you knackered? Well, yeah, because I stayed up like. Yeah, was it long, Causing long days? Causing mayhem in the bedroom. Oh, you were just messing around. Like, it was so much fun, though. Was but it? It was long days, because some mornings, like, the only... See the day of the big wigs task? Yeah. Farida had a oh, clock, because she did her prayers. Yeah. And she was obviously moved to our side of the room for that night. Right. And I could see what time we were woken up that day, and it was, like, 20 to 10. So, like, some so days we were literally going to bed after the live stream at like three o'clock in the morning oh, and then knackered. we were getting woken up at like 10 yeah so like, it's not eight hours it's not no. eight hours and then obviously like when you're bored your body's like sleep and yeah. they're like haha you no thought sleep for you, you no have like, you watched any of it back three episodes i've watched are you gonna watch it all I don't know. You know, it's weird watching your back, isn't it? I think I'll watch it when I miss it. I don't miss it yet. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But the one, the ones I wanted to watch, School Task. Yeah, that was funny. That was the funniest day. That was day. funny. Like, when Henry threw that egg, I, I actually thought it was going to wet my pants. I was really surprised he did that as well. I was like, Henry! I know. Lawless. It was wild. That school day task was so funny. Like, we were being called delinquents all day yeah. by, Jordan, by Jordan and Henry. We had corks in the desks. So every time they were annoying us, we'd just launch them. And that's why they put them, them there, though. The why else well, we did No, we did that. Oh, you put them in so there. So we accumulated all the corks from the wine. <laughs> And like a bowl throughout the seat. We used to have cork fights all the time. Yeah. Like I would stand behind the door of the garden, people come in and I'd just start launching cock <laughs> cocks at them. Cocks at them. <laughs> Massive cocks. Yeah, um, at them. So like before the school task started, we had loads of wait time. And I was like, oh my God, let's put shit. So I had tampons in there, <laughs> corks. And I was launching tampons at Jordan at one point. Oh. It was so much fun. What, so if you had loads of corks, did you guys have a lot of alcohol? Yeah. I thought you did. I was drunk I, quite a lot. I was going to ask, you know when you caught Jordan and Henry, were you steaming? I wasn't steaming, but oh, I'd, had a, one... I'd had most of a bottle of Prosecco. There was one diary room you did with Yinran and me and Millie were crying. Like, yeah. I was like, she is steaming. By that point, I'd had more to drink. Oh, I thought you yeah. I knew it. I love that. There was one you. night I was actually really drunk and yeah. they took alcohol off me. Oh. I got that's called fine. to the diary room and I had <laughs> a can of lager in one hand and a can of sprite in the <laughs> other because I don't actually like beer. No, but, but you had to take beer given. Yeah. So I was like chasing the beer with mm. lemonade and they were two like green cans and they were like, I love you, what have you had to drink tonight? I was like, eh, Prosecco, Mojito, Lager. And they were like, how much do you drink on the outside world? I was like, more, more than, than that. This. Literally. Yeah, yeah. I literally was like, more than that. And they were like, all right. And what have you, did you eat dinner? I was like, I had toast. Yeah, that's fine. And I they do. were like, Big Brother thinks she should switch to water now. And I was like, are you, ins-? like, but I was steaming. I was like, are you insinuating <laughs> that I am drunk? And they were like, Big Brother wants you to have fun. But we think you should leave the lager in the diary room Aww. and go back to the house now. So I left the lager and I picked up like my can of Sprite. And as I was like walking out the diary room corridor, I was like up at the camera going, lemonade. <laughs> like walk back out. I and then I went you to the bedroom and I was like, can you believe it? You know when you're drunk and like you're like yeah. walking about the place. I was like, can you believe 
they've just took my lager off me and everyone turned around to me and was like actually yeah, yes yes we can, we can believe, believe that, that. Um, and then that same night I fell backwards off Paul and Tom's bed oh like I was on their bed like ambulance like this <laughs> like winding them up and it was the night that Paul had, they had me in like a headlock and like wouldn't let oh, me on go. The bed, uh. I was steaming drunk that How night. Are you that was that night. And I literally went flying back, yeah. hit the ledge, and I was like on the floor like this. And it was one of those falls I like looked at the ceiling and I was like, I think I'm okay. Yeah. You know when you're like. Because you were drunk and you're like, I don't actually know. I, what's I don't know happening. how I got here, but I think I'm okay. Yeah. That was like, and people. Trish was always like, that was one of the funniest nights in this house. Hi. Because obviously I stormed in, I'm like, it took lager off me. And they were like, no yeah. shit. Like, no shit. Literally, so yeah. So you would just like have come down and there would just be shitloads of alcohol? No, so oh. we would get an announcement like, this is big. So see on the nights when we were waiting on the booze run, every time we'd hear Big Brother, everyone would go, huh! and like jump. Waiting so, for like, it. So like, they were like, this is Big Brother, refreshments are available in the storeroom. And it would be like, every man for themselves i thought that that's what all the running Paul and was tom would like always nick them which i thought was bad. tom used to wear cargoes because he had pockets down his trousers and he'd put them in like cans oh. but so we'd run to the storeroom and like push past each other we got better at sharing towards the end that's good but there was one night me and Chanel were in the bedroom, which is the furthest from the storeroom mm. so we came out the bedroom right like i shut you know it was like a hundred meter sprint you oh, wanted to have seen us. Get the alcohol. So, like, if you were waiting, you got two rounds a night. So, the first round, I think, was about 8 o'clock. They wouldn't let you drink till after 7 p.m. Okay. And me and Chanel, this one night, were in the bedroom. And we heard refreshments are available. And we were running. And we came round the corner to the hallway. And, like, the cor like the big, long, like, corridor to the um, living the room. Way to the diary? Chanel no. decks it. Like, full on, comes round the corner, oh, rolling no. on the floor, and I was like, she's on her See own. Ya. I was like, sorry, <laughs> Chanel. Like, literally, I was like, fuck her, I'm going. I like, wait it, I wait um, it. Then, like, it, when you're waiting on that second round, Big Brother would be like, this is Big Brother, and you would wait to hear refreshments, and then they'd be like, <gasps> and then they'd go, can Matty come to the room? And you'd be like, oh, fuck. So they, there'll be a uh, lot of them watching. I think they used to do it to wind us up. Yeah, probably. We used to all stand themselves. up and start moving before yeah. they'd even finish. And they'd be like, housemates are reminded to wear their microphone. They would just say shit. Yeah. So you got one round and then I think the second round about 11. So there was quite a long wait between uh, drinks. So you can't get like that smart. No, because well, it was all controlled. So they yeah. would only put a certain amount. It wasn't like free pour, like booze. It was all portion stuff. So like cocktail cans or wine yeah but if it's an M&S tinny that shit has got alcohol in yeah, it yeah but it wasn't oh no that's really annoying um, it wasn't the M&S ones and there was often Prosecco so like that was send you a bit that yeah I used to go for the Prosecco but yeah. everyone used to do this thing as well we got told off for it I don't mix drinks because I'm fussy but okay. people used to get like a glass like that and instead of just having one drink they would put some whiskey and coke, some mojito, some daiquiri, A Long some Island wine. iced tea almost. Like, pretty much. And I was like, I'm just going to stick to the yeah, Prosecco. Yeah, I've got my one, thank But then you. I think I did myself a service by sticking to Prosecco because everyone was that busy thinking about the mix. I'd get a wine glass and fill it to the top. So I'd have half a bottle of Prosecco in my glass at the time. Like, oh, just the Prosecco. That really. is like, so much fun. And because I was fussy, I always had control of the Prosecco yeah. because I didn't want anyone to pour it and mix stuff for oh, me. I so I was like, I'll pour it. And yeah. it was always like a bit extra for me. Thank oh, you. so much so, fun. Like, if you were clever about it, you could have you could, a good time. Yeah, but like there was quite a lot of people who got tipsy. That is so good. I'm never jealous. steaming, but like I was really drunk one that one night. No, I know we uh, we were crying, laughing. I was like, I think she's steaming, but how has she got steaming? No, yeah, I loved we used it. to like we used to get decent amounts of booze. Jealous. Yeah. Who were your favourites overall? If you had to pick two. <gasps> oh, two's hard. I know, that's why I asked. Always that. Hallie. I will always say Hallie. I loved Hallie, which was jokes. Like, I, when Hallie left, a part of me left with her. Oh. That girl is so funny. Yeah, she's, she's quick, isn't she? But not everyone knows how to handle someone like Hallie, yeah. whereas they're like, one minute they're up, the next they're down. Okay. She was, I called her Storm Hallie. Okay. Oh my God, I've just burped. Sorry. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> 
see if I start being sick. I was leaving my hotel and I was like, oh my God, I feel sick. Um, no, you made it, I wait it. No. I wait it. I woke up with my full face and my hair like, how did I get here? <laughs> Noki he sent me a video of me in the taxi like, oh, no. asleep. Oh uh... Literally don't remember leaving. But um, yeah, like Hallie used to, when she was on those tantrums, I would be in the corner laughing and I think a lot of people were like, what is going is she? on? Why is she like this? Yeah. And I used to just sit and cry with laughter at Aww. her. Like she was so funny. So always Hallie. Yeah. And I think Noki, because like I love that. Like we spent so much time yeah, together. Yeah, you shared a bed, didn't you? Like we shared like from day one. Yeah. Until they, we were the only people. Could you ever swap beds? Yeah, we could all swap oh, beds if we that. wanted to. Oh, fine. But somehow I was superstitious Jesus about it. I was like, I'm going nowhere. It's done me a service till now. <laughs> if I leave this bed, <laughs> I'll be out the door. Happen. Uh huh. So yeah, Noki because those are like I missed Hallie. I, I think Hallie went too early, and Noki because. I literally, she was like my emotional support dog by yeah. the end of it. Oh, that's like, really sweet. I said that to her on on Friday night. I was like, oh my God, there's a dog there. Oh my God, there's a dog <laughs> there. That was wild. I was like, emotional support dog. And then the dog came running in. <laughs> what the Are fuck? you into manifestation in that? Mm, I don't know, like to an extent. Yeah. Like before I went, <laughs> before I went on the show, and was waiting to find out if I was getting on the show. But well, every day you're like, please, please, please. My TikTok for your page is full of like tarot cards. Oh, and I things. love them. Did and it was yeah. like, interact free time. Yeah. And you're gonna, so if you look on my TikTok reposts, it's they're all well. still there. <laughs> and I was like commenting on them like, claim, oh my God, claim. <laughs> How embarrassing, my sisters actually put it in, like one of my sisters put it in the group chat and was like, why is this on my For You page? Claim, claim. Why have I clicked on the comments? And yeah. it's you like, oh my God, claim. I was like, please don't judge me guys. I'm just trying to make sure so I get to Big Brother. Big Brother. Yeah, so like, I, I think it worked. It must have worked. It Slag me all you want, but it worked. Go and zicker, and they're all still in my repo section. So like, if it. anyone wants a giggle, go and watch my tarot card readings. Or if anyone wants some good luck, yeah. they should use it. Use it, it the power, but yeah. So yeah, Noki definitely. She's like, I turned to her and went, if you leave before me. I'm fucked. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And it was like 10 minute gaps before I was going to see her again. I was like, I've spent the last, see from that Friday that Chanel and Trish left, all I did was spend time with like, obviously those people. Yeah. So I spent pretty much every hour of my life. How many days was Noki? it? 42. Wow, that's quite long, 42 isn't it? 42 days, yeah. Did it feel long when you're in there? Yeah. The day we always said the days were long, but the weeks were quick. Okay, that makes sense. The days were long when you've got nothing to do in that house. Yeah. You've got nothing to do. I like, know you must just be so bored. If like, you were to do it again, who are three people you wouldn't want in the house? Oh. You don't have to answer that one. People. I just came up with that on the spot. That's a good I just question. To know. Though. Okay, good. Uh, three people I wouldn't want in the house: Dylan. Fairs. Because no, I didn't rate him. He traumatized me with that chicken. Oh yeah. Um, purely because as well, he just shouted at everyone all the time. I think he was angry. There was one night he launched, he backhanded launched a pillow at my face. It swiped across my face and went to Henry's bedside table oh. and dropped a full glass of like water all over oh, his bed. I knew and bed. like what Dylan wasn't very good at, and I said this to his face. Like yeah. this is the thing. I don't feel like I'm throwing shade when I talk no, about you the housemates. Because every time I said anything behind someone's back, I literally went, by the way, I said that about you. So if you leave tomorrow, don't be shocked. <laughs> because I was like, no, You've you got have big to. Balls, man. But you have to stand by it. So okay, see, I read see it. the week that Noki and Trish survived, and I was like, these two girls did this. And you apologised, they really went. I went that. to Noki and was like, by the way, I've been a bitch about you. <laughs> because obviously I nominated her as well. Yeah. So like, I literally was like, I've been a bitch. I was like, so don't be shocked when you leave and you watch it back, because I hated you this week. But like, Fairs. so that's why I'm I'm saying this, and I've said this to Dylan's no, that's face. Fine. Yeah. But Dylan just, what he was very good at was ever saying sorry for the shit that he did. Uh, he, a lot of people said he that. He would make a mistake and that. almost like pretend it never happened yeah. or laugh it off. Whereas, like. I think if he honestly had just owned up and been like, actually, I was a bit of, out of order. Yeah, I'm sorry. He'd have made a lot, mm. he'd have made his, made his life easier. Yeah, so that's Dylan a good way to put it. Good way to put it. 
I would say for Rita, but she did provide the entertainment and we talked about her every day. Aww. So like, for the same reason. She was vibes, but she yeah. Was, she was bat shit crazy. <laughs> have you seen the video? Oh, have you seen her TikTok lives? No, I've not seen her lives. But oh, seen- someone asked her on live, like, why aren't you in the final? And she was like, I don't know. I think it's the finalists. You need to call Big Brother. You need to call the director of Big Brother. Oh my God, yes, I saw this I was actually. Like, what on earth, Karina? Honestly, that woman. Like, so, yes, I know I would like to live with her. Let's put her on the list because okay. she did spit mango all over me. And ate your food. Yeah. Okay, that's what I mean, look, you got to be brutal. Like, she was, she was completely blissfully, like, unaware. Oh, like, she was in Farida's world. But she was great. Well. Yeah. We were all working to Farida's clock. Like, we were on Farida time the whole time we were there. It'd be like, gather on the sofa, and we'd be like, all sat there, and we'd be like, where the fuck is Farida? <laughs> And she'd be like coming down the corridor, oh, like, I love and we're that. like, Frida, we got told ten minutes ago we were to be here, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we talked about her every day, yeah, because she just left. She's such entertainment. An she yeah. was entertainment. On the, she's hilarious to be around, but hell to live with. That's yeah. But it's so amusing for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was always like, I don't need to be here. I've got multiple phone calls waiting for me. Like, <laughs> the apprentice have approached me, but I don't need Lord Sugar's money. She's like, I've done blankety blank. I've done dealer oh. notes. Like, she's done it all. We were like, Farida invented she's a TV. She's celebrity, she did. If you didn't it. know, she actually is like the CEO of reality TV for life. I've heard that, yeah, actually. Yeah. I've heard it. She invented the television. No, I love like, that for She her. is just... That's She's like, done it all. It's not being delusional, but it's just like living in your own world. And I wish I was like that. I think like And she just doesn't give a shit and just does what she wants. But I don't even think nice she time. I don't think she knows that she doesn't give a shit. Oh, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I actually see what you're saying. Like I don't think she knows. Yeah, like she believes it. She honestly is like that is the only way to talk about it. Blissfully unaware. Yeah. She just goes through life like blissfully unaware. She must be having such a good time. I know, she must. I think she is. In her world, she is like God. She is She is the superstar of like everyone's yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, but I, I don't really think it. that she sees that. But that's, that's what makes her so funny. Yeah. So Dylan, Farida, and ooh. Ooh, that's... Do you know who I would pick? Who? Tom. Really? The vibes of top. I didn't mind him, but he reminded me of like a typical teenage boy. Well, I walked in in the first night and I saw Tom and I thought, oh, uni wanker. Yeah, those are the vibes yeah, that I got. Literally, like, it, was uni the, it, was wanker. The, it was the mullet but like, and yeah. the, um, the outfit. And then obviously he's like, I'm a butcher. I was like, the fuck? Oh, he's a butcher. He's a butcher. So he doesn't say that. See, job. even though we had t- chicken thighs, he spent loads of time removing the bones out of chicken thighs. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah. No, Tom's a sweetheart. Okay. Like, I never thought I would get on with Tom. Yeah. But you did. But I did. Oh. He was like a little brother almost. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I never honestly thought I'd be as close to Tom. No. Based on first impressions. That's like what you said, like, the more and more time you spend with someone, you're like, oh, shit, you're actually got more in common with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, okay. No, I get, like, I've seen a lot of that. Like, not everyone loved Tom. No. But <laughs> I think that was just, like... It seems like he just had it in for Yin Ren. I don't yeah. know what he did or not, but, like, that's what it really looked like. And Yin Ren's like, how can you ever hate Yin Ren? Like, she's I know. so... Sweet. I know. She's so funny. Honestly. Yeah. That girl's underrated. Like, never underestimate her. She hits out with the funniest shit. Yeah. Last night, we were ready to go, and she realised she had forgot to put pants on. <laughs> she had the Big Brother name badge and no pants. And I was like, okay. this girl is chaos. <laughs> and no one knows it. Like, where yeah. are the cameras on a day like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, Yan Run, do you want a thong? And she was like, no. She had to do her own. So I'm running around this hotel, yeah. back down to her room. She's like, don't leave me, Olivia. And I'm getting texts like, we need to go. We need to go. We're going to be late. She's running down the corridors with a room service tray, eating a sandwich off the room <laughs> set. Full glam, eating the biggest sandwich you have ever seen with no fucking pants on. I was like, why are the cameras not here? Like, this is hilarious. <laughs> I was like, she's stressing me out on a whole new level. Yeah, but funny. But Honestly, so funny. Oh, I love like, that. But yeah, I get that with Tom, but I love with him. Your... And he was actually, like, okay. fun to live with. Who's your third and final? Who went first? Zach. Mm. Would you kick him out first still? 
He went second, Farida went first. Oh shit, yeah, what? I feel like God, I feel like Farida was in there for so much longer. Um, yeah, because she lived on. Yeah, she did. She lived on, literally. I think everyone did think Farida could have been there to the final and we would have never known, yeah. like, because we talked about her so much. But yeah, maybe Zach. Like, I love Zach and I think he's great. Yeah. But he really didn't do much yes. in the house. No. Like, sorry, Zach. He did a few inspirational. Like, oh chats. no, that bit about his family, like, I did actually cry, and I don't really cry at the GB. Really? Yeah, you I cried. was like really like touching. I was like, shit, boy. Yeah, no, he he was he was good fun to be around. Like, but he used to do these inspirational chats with you. Mm. You're not be like, listen, yeah, smile, and I'd be like, fuck off. Yeah, like, I'm in a bad mood. No, I let smile. honestly, I used to just tell him to jog on. So oh. like, Zach was. Fun. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would jump to live with Zach again. That's purely, why. Yeah. Purely for the inspiration. Like, three people have got to go. And yeah. It's unfortunate. And he went early, go. so that was an easy one. Yeah, that's because you, you know. You I didn't live with him more. for that long. Same yeah. with Farida. I didn't live with her oh, for yeah, that so long. True. So realistically, I think those are quite a wise free. Fine. That's good. Yeah. Right. Big Brother's done now. Mm -hmm. What's next? Oh my god, this question. Everyone keeps asking me this. Like, I know. And I'm like, I don't I actually should have know. Asked something more fun. Because I've literally not even been on the outside world really for that long. I know. Have you haven't Today's practiced like, the case yet? No. Yeah, exactly. I was having a mental breakdown on Monday night at like 11 o'clock, trying to organise myself. Yeah. And I was like, Mum. I was like, you just need to. And Mum was like, I'm just going to close this suitcase. Yeah. Because it's, I, I can't see the suitcase and look at how it's going to fit in my wardrobe oh. even though it did all fit my wardrobe that's too much for someone to deal with right now like deal with it. it's weird Do something but else. what's next is probably just getting drunk man like <laughs> that I, I did a good job of that last night but yeah i just went to party is that yeah is that your very like do you live for the weekends Guilty. Yeah. yeah. Where did you go in Glasgow? What happened in Glasgow? Oh my God, I spend most of my weekends in the same place. Do you? Where do you go? Wonder Bar, it's called. Wonder Bar, The place okay. where I was dressed as a German pin-up for the opening. Right, And was, that's where yeah, you go. We go to Wonder Bar every Saturday. Yeah. Pretty much. Same people, it's sweaty, it's, but it's fun. It's fun. It is fun. Yeah. Like, do you know everyone in there? Like, yeah. It's just good vibes. It's good because I don't have to queue. Like, you definitely won't have to queue now. Oh my god, I know. You will never queue for there again. It was funny because like the Saturday before I came, I was out with my friends. We were like, it's going to be a sensible one. We're going to behave. We went to a place called Dockyard Social, and it's like um, a warehouse of street food. Oh, fun! It's really fun yeah. and like bars. So and it was the it was they were calling it Doctoberfest because uh, it was like the weekend that Oktoberfest yeah, started, yeah, yeah. and um. They also had, it was like the Rugby Six Nations was on, but it was all decorated and they had these like balloons that were like a beer, yeah. like like that. I acquired a balloon and well, like, I- put beer in it? No, it was like shaped oh, like, like, a, like it was a balloon like that. Oh, okay, so I sorry. acquired this balloon yeah. and I was running. So you don't leave out a door, you leave out of a fire exit. And I was running at the fire exit and launching myself through <laughs> it with this balloon. Then we ended up somewhere else, yeah. a bar that my pal owns. And my pal's partner's going, what are you doing out here? And we were like, we're waiting on an Uber. And he was like, cancel the Uber. And it was his pal we were telling had a boner. So he was giving us a lift. And one of my friends was sitting in a child's car seat, like a baby car seat like this. What, in the street? No, in the like car? in the car. Right. Takes us into the city centre. Right. We end up at Wonder Bar. Okay. Obviously go straight in, skip the queue. Yeah. We decided it wasn't fun, left. I leave, right, and there's like a guest list queue and a main queue, and the main queue can take like two hours to get in. Wonder Bar? Yeah. I've never heard of it. What music is it? What's the vibe? Live What's it like? music and like songs, so it goes like sets. There'll be like oh my God, live that's music. That's so fun. It is, that's why everyone loves it because it's not club. It's not a club. Vibe. It's a bar. Oh, that's so but fun. It's open until free, so it's like works like a club. Right, right, right. right. So, and then in the get, like in the main queue, a certain someone. I'm sure you can guess what I mean when I say I'm walking out, calls me a munter. Cheers. Um, and we left and I was like, I want to go back there just so I can walk to the front door yeah, and just walk let them straight, know. walk straight in. So we ended up back there and then I ended up like, I think it was a late night. Yeah. So I'm guilty of um, 
You like partying? I don't know how to be sensible. It's not in my nature. Neither. No. We don't need to be sensible. Messy's more fun. Messy is far more fun. But What's the messiest thing you've ever done? <sighs> that you can say on camera. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I do lots of messy shit. Okay. But like an example is, I think the weekend before the weekend I just spoke about. Mm. So I do this thing quite often where I'll come home and turn the oven on and put food in and I'll wake up the next day and the and oven's, the oven's still on. on. You will literally die if you do that. You could literally I know. die. I incinerated chicken nuggets not long ago. Almost your house. Yeah. Stop that I'm one. sorry to my dad because I still live at home. So like the, yeah, ele yeah. the electricity bill must have been like right Oh up. shit, yeah. Like, because my, my sister was downstairs and she was like, what's that smell? And she opened up the oh, oven chicken. and yeah. That's Whoops. quite messy. But the weekend, I, like, so I stopped doing that and decided one night I was going to get a, an Uber Eats. Okay. So I order an Uber Eats. That's probably better. It's telling me it's there. I go outside, can't find the car. There's a car parked down the road. And I'm in my bare feet, left the front door wide open. Now, my first ever boyfriend when I was 16 lives on the same street as me. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. At until, the time. Yeah. But I wasn't allowed sleepovers for that same reason. Thanks, Mum. Uh, she was like, there's no need for him to ever stay over. You should like, go camping. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> not my vibe. So I'm like that to this random car. I'm like, waving this, and this car's not moving. So I walk down there, lo and behold. No! My first ever boyfriend. No! Uh, and his pal. And I was like, you're not my Uber driver. And they were like looking at me. I was so, so drunk. Oh, Barefoot. No. Then I hear the dog come flying out the door chasing a cat or something. And I'm like on the oh, street in my bare feet. On. And quite a few, like my pals live on my street, which sounds really weird. And then I'm like walking back up the road, get to the, like outside my house and the taxi goes past one of my pals. I was like, you coming up for an after party? <laughs> I was like, no, oh, went back I in. You're gonna say yeah. <laughs> I also had spent twenty eight pound on that Uber Eats for myself, so God knows what I'd ordered. And then I reordered Uber Eats again. Okay. Uh huh. Went up to bed and fell asleep. Oh but, no! And then I woke up the next morning, opened up the front door, and there was just a McDonald's bag on the oh, at the doorstep. Twenty quid on McDonald's. What the fuck did you? But order? I claimed it all back. I claimed it all back. I got Uber quite good at refunds, but yeah. If anyone was wondering. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've seen about yourself since you've come out? Um, or like weirdest clip that you didn't realise would go out? Oh my God, my dad knows I had a butt plug. <laughs> that was the first thing that he told me. What? Oh, you've got a butt plug? No, I had when I was like 19. Okay. And we had a conversation. We were t teaching Kerry about like sex toys one day. Why? And like, the Jen comes out, oh, Kerry, you need some anal beads and all oh, that. I remember this, yeah, yeah, And yeah. I was like, oh my God, Dad, you look so slim. Have you lost weight? Well, I've been away. And he was like, yeah, because of fucking you. And I was like, what? And he was like, I know you had a butt plug. I was like, um, yeah, but it doesn't so mean So I never used thought it. that was going to be aired. That's I wouldn't funny. have had, like, like, I didn't know that was going to be aired. Like, see, the stuff that you think won't make the cut yeah. makes the cut. And the stuff okay. that you think will make the cut doesn't make the cut. What didn't we see? Um, you didn't see the day of, like, the rule break when I was, like, telling Matty why he was annoying me. Yeah. Matty went like that to me. Who do you think you are? The queen of soup. And I went, yeah, I am the queen of soup. So when I was in jail, I was, like, shaking the butt, like, the butt, obviously, before I started crying. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realise how long I was in jail either. Yeah, how It was like two and a half hours. That's boring. And it's torrential cold outside. rain. Yeah. I was um, soaked through. That's why I was crying. I was like, this is actually inhumane. I'm like a caged animal. Yeah. We could have walked out. It wasn't locked. But I was sat in there going, I am the queen of soup. You must release me. The queen shall never be jailed. Like, so I, I thought that out. would be there. And it was never there. So we were mm. baffled because we were like, oh my God, people will be making memes like, about me and Matty, like the queen of soup stuff, and it never made it. Oh, that's so strange. So like to us, it was such a funny big thing. Big thing, but no one saw So it. then like, obviously the stuff like that. And then the biggest 
thing that I've seen is the day of the icebreaker challenge when I'm like my, oh my name's God. Olivia my favourite icebreaker is what's an interesting fact about yourself and then I'm like oh I chopped this finger off in church and I've got a phobia of jam what's the phobia of jam about? it's a really weird like it's, I don't really know I think it's a texture thing because I don't okay. like see like when bananas go to oh my god I do not eat bananas I've got fair bananas yeah my, one of my friends is, yeah mine's jam but like I, I'll only eat bananas when they're just yellow like I don't like mushy food. So like I think that's where it comes from. And I'm really fussy okay. about flavours of things. I like fruit, but I don't like fruit flavoured things. Oh. So like I would never eat like I'm trying to think of an example. Do you eat ketchup? Yeah, I eat ketchup. Okay, do you eat orange juice? Drink? No. You don't drink orange juice. I would only drink like fresh orange juice as in like, you know the bottles you can get in prep? Yeah. Where it's like legit. Oh, bougie. And then like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, because it, freak, it freaks me out. Like, how can I, how can a Tropicana carton of orange juice last for six months? What are you putting in that? Can it last for six months? No, but like you know, like I know, the day, long it freaks me out okay. when like fruit fruit is turned into something else. Okay, I think that's where it comes from. Okay, and then you chopped your ring off and jar. Yes, everyone's been asking me to do this story, so yeah, maybe what is it? maybe I give it to Chloe. Woo! Um, so <laughs> basically. When I was two, I was left with my gran for the weekend. Right. Um, we went to church and she used to always do like the teas and coffees after church. And she went to the kitchen and I went to, after her and the door opened and it was shutting behind her. And I went, oh, I don't really know if it was her, but I went like that to catch the door. Right. And the door slammed on my hand and literally chopped. Like you can see it. You see that finger, it's shorter. And like it's deformed. Yeah. That's so that's so hard. You can oh see it's my god, you literally And it's literally deformed. Like if you look at it, it's deformed. Oh my god. You that's would never mad. actually know. No, but you know. Unless I point it out. It. And like it literally is quite a weird looking finger. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like your other one. No, Damn. it doesn't. And like that's my skin right up to the tip of my nail. Oh yeah! So like they literally were like, she might never grow a finger, like a fingernail. Thank fuck yeah, I did. Thank God. Could you imagine going to get a full set of acrylics? Just nine, please. No, you like, just get the stick on ones. Oh my God! Could you imagine that? I have stick on though. toenail. My toenail. Yeah, but it would be on real. your skin though. Oh yeah. Like, but, oh, it would be on your fucking skin. Exactly. So yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, that's how I chopped my finger off in church. I was left in my grand's safe hands, and my grand let me leave with almost nine fingers. It's done. So yeah, imagine having to phone your daughter like, "Hi there, um, your daughter's a, f a finger short, but she's other. Yeah. Oh, other than that, she's sweet. Yeah, she's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. Like literally, so that's how I chop my finger off. So you're going back to Scotland after this? Yes. What have you got on the rest of the week? You're gonna go to Wonder Bar on the weekend? I don't know if I could cope with Wonder Bar. Like, I know you might be a bit mobbed. Yeah, like not even that. Just like a bit so pat. Like last night was so pat. Oh yeah, the Palooza, it's yeah. a good party though, isn't it? It was fun. But um, I'm going, tomorrow I'm doing Capital and Heart in the morning. Fun! And then in the afternoon, I'm going to BBC Scotland. Okay. And then I've got an event on Friday, but I don't know if I'm going to go. Oh, what's the event? It's like a thing in Glasgow, but I'm a bit like, maybe I should go because I've not done anything at home yet. So it'd be yeah, like the you first, You are the like, queen of Scotland now. Put it on the map. I saw a tweet referring to me as Lady Diana. I, was I like, saw that tweet. It was like, it was like it some, old, some old woman like, oh, Olivia reminds me of Lady Diana. I was like, are you watching the show? Like, I see it. Are you watching the show? Because I am not anything like any of the royal family. No. Like, one, none of them swear. And that's I bet pretty they much do all I did. I bet they don't. I don't I think don't they know. do. No. I don't think they do. But yeah, Glasgow today. I don't know anyone royal. That's that. Me either. My mum's got an MBE, but that's about Your mum's got an MBA? My that's really cool. cool. My mum's got an MBE and I was on reality TV, so. It's quite a good family. What's your mum yeah, got an MBE one. for? Um, so my mum like, does a lot of like work in like the education system at right. home. Right. And she basically promotes education to like kids who live in poverty and oh, stuff like that. that. So it's just for like encouraging. Like the most like disfortunate people. Disfortunate? Is that even a word? I think yeah. that one. Yeah, that one. 
just fortunate. Doesn't matter. This is what I mean. I just hit it with shit and like. You don't need to be literate on this. But part. yeah, so basically, <laughs> she does that, and I was there. Um, big brother, what a contrast of life. Have you got any other family members? What that have? No, just so that who's in your family? It's me, my dad, my mum, and my two younger sisters. Are you the oldest? Yes. What do you think? Do you think your sisters will do TV or get an MBA? Well, see, me and Nokia are like, we're putting my youngest sister into pageants. I'm like, let's do it. Oh, that's Because she dances as well. Yeah. And she's beautiful. Both my sisters are gorgeous, but Claudia got the looks. Okay. I say that. Every time that child goes anywhere, I'm like that to my mum and dad. See that? She's our best work. Oh. Well done, guys. <laughs> Like literally, there's pictures of me at four. Like well, she's not fourteen, but like pictures of me at fourteen mm. and pictures of her at fourteen. It's like different worlds. I know, but you, if you're old, there it is just a is. picture of me. So like, I took a picture of Claudia at a dance competition earlier on this year, right? And at the time, she would have been at the time she was fourteen. So this is where this comparison comes from. Mm. And she's like in this leotard and it's all mesh and like rhinestoned and she's got like see like the hat I had on Big Brother like yeah. a hat like that and she's like did you take that home? no someone, someone in the crowd someone got it yes I reposted I it, it. I yes, reposted it I, I was like that hat cures all yeah like any time I had an issue in that house I just put that oh, hat on and I'd be like right let's go I'm good <laughs> But yeah, so basically Claudia's got this costume and I've got a picture of her and she's like st standing like this. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, mum, like, look at your daughter. Like, what the hell? Aww. And then I was like, hang on a minute. Let's get a picture of me at 14. Yeah. Have you seen Hocus Pocus? No. Have you? No. So the main character in Hocus Pocus has like a wig that's like, Two red cone. I want to find the yeah, picture. Get this down there. I think you'll like die at this what picture. Did you have red hair? So I had this wig on. Like this is the A kind wig. of shit my dance teachers used to do this to me, right? Where they would just dress me in whatever because I never argued. And that's good vibes though. Well, that was the thing that I've never actually gave a fuck. But when you look at this versus Claudia, you will die. Um. So yeah. So I'm in, and I had. A gap in my front two teeth, which I... Oh, my God, I used to have a gap. I claim it to be child abuse because I walked about like that till I was 16. Oh, then This what is happened? me at 14. Oh, my God! <laughs> it doesn't even look like you! It's horrific. Oh, my God, it does not look like you! Find the Lord! If I still look like it that, doesn't look like I'd be in hiding all. for life. No, it's cute. It's so, cute. yeah. But so, that doesn't look like you at all. So, basically, that was me at 14, and then, like, her at 14 was just, like... Different. Wild. So, me and Nokia are on a... We're, we're going to get, get her. Imagine. Yeah, she's going to be the new Miss Universe Great Britain. It's quite watch big this shoes space. to fill. Okay, it's yeah. Watch this, space. watch this space. We're going to rise to the top. We're going to take Nokia's crown. <laughs> You are quite funny, actually. Like, you're funny on Big Brother, but you're quite quick, aren't you? I don't think like, I you've am. You've got a really dry sense of humour. Do you think? Yeah, I think like, you do. I don't think I am that quick. you just don't give a fuck. So you're like, do you yeah. know what it is? My mouth moves before my brain catches oh, yeah. up. That's why I'm quick. Yeah. Because I don't ever think. Okay. <laughs> so I, I just speak. It does get me in trouble quite a bit. Yeah, I can imagine. Life's more fun. Life to, is more fun. To live on messy. the edge because yeah. it's messy. Yeah. Right, hun, I'm going to stop it there because you need to get all the way back to Scotland. And I've done that train journey. It's long for man. I know, I much prefer flying. Oh, you're not flying. Oh, yeah, you'll get the train. I'm in first, first class. class. Yeah. There you go. Can't complain. But thank you so much for stopping here before you go back to Scotland. I've loved having you thank on. Thank you for having me. Plug your, what are your social handles so people can find you? Mats. Yep. Oh my God, I don't even know my TikTok app. That's really bad. You're bad to be on TikTok. I literally, I've not used my phone in like over a month. A month. <laughs> literally. Okay, well, we'll find it. Yeah, we'll, there you go. we'll get it. My Instagram is underscore olivia.young underscore at the end again that's why you can't find you because you've got all these underscores yeah because i've uh, tried finding my name find my it. name's not that like original like yeah. for example Noki. there's only one Noki. there's only one yenrun yeah how many olivia's are there on this planet like that's surely true. my mum could have been more inventive with that name I was meant to be Gabrielle, but thank fuck, because I'd have been Gobby Gabby. Gobby Gabby. Thank you, God, what's for saving your, me from that. That's but, an O word. Do you know what I mean? 
There is no just, I'm just, thing for Olivia. You're no, just Olivia, I'm just Olivia, unfortunately. Oh, sorry There's not that. too much I can do with that. <laughs> but yeah. So. But yes, thank you so much. Go thank follow Olivia you. so you can keep an eye on her. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening, give us five stars. And I'll see you next week.